Hi, welcome back to Simply Pilates. This is Stephanie. Uh, we're gonna get back on the Pilates Power Gym Reformer, at home reformer. And we're gonna be focusing a lot on the core, okay? So you monitor whatever your range of motion is, what your mobility is, but remembering that every moment of the movement begins in the core. So this is connected before we move the upper body, the lower body, the legs, the feet, whatever's being asked to move. Connection is here first. Smaller movement, totally okay. Uh, just making sure that you stay connected in your powerhouse. So I have right now, I have my resistance cores on two and three, I believe. Yes, two and three are set. So we've got a pretty mid-range resistance, which is what I want. If it becomes too challenging for you, then you're going to want to actually add more resistance. So maybe go to like a two and a four or a three and a four. It'll help you in the long run to stabilize because that's obviously what we're trying to focus on, staying connected in core. So we're going to start out. Hands come on the foot rail. Feet are going to come back, but we're going to have flat feet and we're gonna press the back of our heels into our pads. We're gonna enjoy a nice stretch here. So head is gonna come between the shoulders. You're gonna press the tailbone up to the sky, chest presses down to your board. Big inhale and exhale. Curl the belly button up, nice little rounding. Come out of that stretch. Up here, take another inhale. Exhale, shift back, tailbone to sky, chest comes down. Stay down here for another inhale. Exhale, we round, pulling belly button up, and we release. One more inhale. Exhale, we press back through the hips. Now we're going to leave our back flat. We're going to lower our hips down into plank. Heels are going to pop up off of the shoulder rails. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Press through those hands to keep chest active. Pulling the reformer back and we shift tailbone long. Take an inhale. Exhale, we lower down to plank. Pressing through chest. Inhale. And exhale, we shift that board back and release. Two more times, inhale. And exhale, lower hips down. Nice long line, thinking energetically, crown of the head is pulling long. And we come on back, hips to sky. Inhale. And exhale. We stay here. So now we're gonna take just little lifts up. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Try to keep the chest directly over that footboard. If your wrists need a break, take a break before you come into this. Pause the video and then come back. Eight. Seven. Scooping through the low abs. Six. Five. Four. You still breathe in. Three. Two. And one. Slide back. Hold. Slide the board back. Go into your last little stretch. Holding on to foot rail, I want you to step onto the floor, onto the floor, and we're gonna roll out our wrists. Well done. Now we get to sit down on our sliding board. I'm gonna have you sit as far back as you can. We have just the short little hand connection. Elbows come into side. Feet can either stay in hook position. You're using these pads to feel yourself get lifted up into a nice tall spine. If it's too hard and you feel that there's a lot of rounding or dumping in that low back, I want you to put a yoga block right here, and that yoga block will help you get the height needed to stay nice and postured up on your sits bones. So we're gonna take an underhand grip, which means palms go to sky. If this is seemingly too simple for you while we go into some arm movements, staying nice and tall, again, core is doing the movement. If you wanna up, the, up your game a little bit, you're gonna take your feet up. I'm gonna scooch away a little bit, my buns from the pad. It's gonna have me lean back a little bit, but still flat back. 
and I go into lengthen and return. So the return is going to be really where you feel that scoop in the belly. Otherwise, feet can stay down, stay pushed back with your tall spine. Connect in the abs. Feel as if someone could tickle you right now. It wouldn't bother you a bit. Inhale. Exhale on that work. Inhale. Feel the scoop in the belly. Tall spine. And exhale. Nice job. Arms are working, but again, this is a core-driven movement. Everything's initiating from that center. Six. Palms are still up. Shoulders are still down, so get the tension. Shoulders out of the ears. We go four, nice straight wrists, three, inhale, exhale, two, belly scoops, and one, leave the arms out, we take palms towards one another, we're going to open the chest, close the chest, halfway movement, eight, scooping, seven, inhale, exhale, six, and five, upper body's very still, four, and three, and two, and one, and we slowly return, and we turn around. So now we face the other direction of our board. Hands are going to come up on top of this. If this is uncomfortable, you're just going to get a little towel and put it on both of these rails. Feet are going to come up. If you're comfortable, feet are going to come all the way up onto our footboard, trying to just stabilize in this position. Booty comes up. We lower the hips down. We pick the hips up. Keep those feet about hip distance apart. We only got three more. Lift. Two more. One more. We step down, release that cage back, and we step down, come on off of the board. We're going to spin around again, going into legs, keeping upper body connected. So we take left foot back, right foot forward. I'm going to increase a little bit of weight onto this. So I'm going to switch out my two and put a four. So now I've got a three and a four on this. So I'm going to keep my upper body nice and tall. I'm going to shift the leg back, finding length through the abdominal wall, bringing the leg back. I stand up tall, scooping in low abs. So it's an inhale down, exhale lift. So now I want to check my form. Both my hips are forward. My ankle stays right underneath my knee. My hip is what's shifting back. Upper body stays tall. I go back, I'm connected in abs right now on my way up. Low abs help lift me back up tall. Crown of the head lifts. We go five. Uh, pressing through that forward heel on that stand, that pressure into the mat activates the glute. So although it is full body work, core drives all the movement. A reminder, we got two more. One more. Now we're going to come down. We're going to do some pulses. So we stay down, come up halfway, come down. We go eight, seven, wide collarbone, six, five, glutes burning, belly still tucked, four, three, two, one. We come all the way up to the top, step off of the carriage. Take that working leg. We're going to take it in front of us. We're going to flex the foot. We're going to hinge back to get some stretch through the back of that leg. Head comes down, release. And we go to the other side. So now right foot goes back onto the board. Check that left foot. We've got that. I have it pretty much in line with the footboard, so you're not going to see it. But my left heel is directly underneath my left knee. I posture up. I square up my hips. Right hand goes on. Upper body lifts. I shift back. Long leg. Feeling that big stretch here through that hip flexor. Press through that heel to stand. Scoop up low abs. 
Inhale back. Exhale, tall. Hand can go on hip or it can be gently resting on the thigh, trying not to lean because then it's gonna allow for that upper body to rest. So we want it to stay active. We got five more. And then we go into our pulses. Great job. Feels good to be on the machine again. Four. And three. Nice, deep, slow movement. Inhale back. Exhale up two more. And now we go for our pulses. We're gonna use our last one. We stay back, we lift up halfway. Eight, seven. If you feel any load in that low back, tuck that tailbone a little bit under. Again, wide chest. We go three, press through front heel, tuck in belly, two. One, allow the carriage to come all the way up, release, step on the mat, left foot forward and we hinge back, release. Go ahead and surrender, head down. Lower those toes, articulate up. Okay, so last movement, it's gonna be a big one. So we're gonna go into a side plank. So side planks already are fairly challenging. So in order to get into it, we're gonna be on our hands, feet are on the pads, we're gonna lift our hips up. Find yourself into a nice solid plank. You're gonna take your left hand to the middle of the foot rail. You're gonna to rotate toes forward, lifting hand to sky or on hip. You're gonna extend the carriage away, come back in, take those hips up. You should feel a little bit of a pull through the waist. Inhale, exhale, lift. We go four more, four, and pull those feet in, three, Head is still in alignment, two, one, and then we hold, find that carriage back, find alignment there, shoulder over wrist. Keep breathing for three, two, soften chest, scoop and belly, one, take that hand back through center, take a break if you need it, otherwise we go to the other side. So I'm gonna take right hand to center, I'm gonna rotate toes forward, Hand to waist, I extend away from that shoulder and wrist. I pull in, I lift my hip up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift. Six more. Six. And five. Four, a lot of work on those wrists. Gotta get them stronger. Three. And two. Last lift, we extend long, we find alignment, shoulder over wrist, open that chest, breathe, three, exhale, two, and one. Rotate through, hold a solid plank, extension. Try not to sag in the hips, make sure those hips are lifted. It's great if you have a mirror in front of you that you can check yourself. From here, we're gonna shift back again out of those shoulders and we pull back. We're just gonna do four like this. I still have that heavy tension, which is helping me to return, helping me to stabilize. One more, we move out, we pull in, but don't fully release the carriage. We pull in right knee, step back, pull in left knee, step back, six, and five, and, Keep breathing, good job. Three more. We got two more. And one. And gently lower those knees back, feel the carriage return. Step feet down and we rest. Woo. Take your feet out in front of you, a little bit in front of those knees. Now push yourself back. Head comes down, if that's too much tension, take one of the resistance cords off. But the stretch should be nice on your back. Just kind of roll the wrists out. Slowly return the carriage. Slowly come up to tall sit. We're gonna go into a quick rotation. 
to open up the rib cage and rest it. Whew. Catch your breath. Tall on sits bones, feet hip distance apart. You're going to take a left hand to the outside of that right thigh and you're going to corkscrew nice tall rotation. So again, we're not surrendering chest forward. We're still utilizing all of that height that we just gained in our spine. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly return with a little bit more height to center. It's not through the neck. Take an inhale. Right hand outside of that left thigh. Other hand goes behind you to help you prop and posture up. Soften the chest and shoulders, staying tall. Breathe. Well, today was just a little mini all over body workout. Focus being on that core, driving the movement. If we can get ourselves into functional movement where our core initiates all movement, your back would always be healthy and happy. So wishing you a very healthy and happy day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.